Let's go ahead and upload a point cloud now to overlay on top of our model. So I'm going to go back to my import 3D data. I'm going to choose upload from your computer. And I'm going to take the E57, the point cloud scan of level one. I can rename it if I like. Um, the time, this is the point that it was uh, captured. And you can associate this with whichever floor plan you have. We only have one, so you can only see one. If you have multiple, you can choose maybe a different floor plan for each level of the building. Now, if your point cloud was previously aligned to the model, you can just click the point cloud is georeferenced option and it will bring the point cloud in in the same coordinate system. And this should just drop right in on top of the model without any need for further alignment. If they have not been previously aligned, you can import the point cloud, leave this checked off, and then you can go through the same alignment process with the point cloud to the floor plan that we just did with the model. So let's go ahead and import. And if we look at our cloud activity window, you'll see it showing our completed model upload. And now we have our point cloud upload, which is in progress. So you can see that our import has been successful. So now let's go check out our alignment and make sure that everything is lined up, our model, our point cloud, and our sheet. Okay, so looking under our capture tab, you can see that we've got the floor plan and we now have a 4D session in the form of a point cloud. Now, if you look at the icon, you'll see that little geo-referencing notation. We checked that button on upload because we knew that the point cloud and the model were in the same coordinate system and that the upload meant no additional alignment would be required. It should drop in place perfectly on top of the model. Let's take a look at this in our 3D overview. And there we have our model. So now when we look at that, we can see that we have our visibility settings and of course we can change the visibility of the model to allow us to see the point cloud and we can change the visibility of the point cloud to let us see our sheet or our floor plan and of course this has been scaled up to match our model and our point cloud and to verify that you can see that model sits right on top of the floor plan and also our point cloud so we now have everything aligned and we're ready to go in and start working on our project. You can just turn down the visibility on the floor plan if it's in the way. You can turn down the model if you like to be able to see the point cloud. And of course, your points. You can adjust the visibility of each of the three components as needed.